supposed to help you at all. He said, what the F is going on up there? He got blood all over him. I'm like, what? JB off from school and uh, I'm gonna make me a smoothie real quick. They have this vanilla milk on sale, but I'm gonna get one free. So I got two. There's actually some tornadoes that touched down in Oklahoma. <clears throat> so I got these at Aldi's. It's just strawberries and bananas. I'm gonna wash my hands. That's all the berries I'm gonna put in here, okay? And full of spinach. And I've been having this every morning. And there I have it. This is my pre-workout. Honestly, this is just gonna be my breakfast. I'll probably eat, I only eat a few times a day, you guys, now. go get the light but hold on y'all it's okay ain't like this is a hair video Woo. um work is got i had a couple of things i had to do at work um and some other stuff i gotta do look at this hair child um my hair has grown so much look at this it really has a little fluff this is my hair naked without any products, not even a leave-in conditioner. You can see my natural curl pattern. Um, my hair does an almost, uh, how do I explain it? It does this, you can see it. You see that? It does like a zig, 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 zig. That's what my hair does. Speaking of JB, I made an appointment last week to get him on some different medication. Those who don't know, my child has ADHD and it's to the point to where he has to be medicated. Like there's an obvious big difference when he's medicated as opposed to not being medicated. So we're trying some new, this is just um, African Pride Moisture Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. We're trying a new medication for him, but the only thing problem is that apparently the pharmacy don't have it. Cause let me tell you something. I had originally had it filled at Walgreens. Baby, she said $115. I said, huh, hmm. Um, let, let's put a pause on that for a minute. Now he's taking his other um the one that he originally was prescribed. He's on that now. I'm not gonna stop that until I can get this one. Phil, so I call Brookshire's. I got a coupon. It's $29. And I'm just going to get it filled there because I am not paying $115 for this medication. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> and um, we're speaking to my husband off and on all weekend, y'all. And he ended up, he's going to be moving to another apartment because he said that there's something going on at the apartment that he's in now. Now, he's paying quite a bit of money to stay at this apartment. It's, an Air, it's considered an Airbnb. I don't know how they do this. So, it's an Airbnb, but it's an apart, it's in an apartment complex. Um, and so, it's a lot of money. Like, well over $2,000 a month. 
I think it's close to 3,000. Like, I'm not even kidding. But that includes everything. You know what I mean? That's everything. But still, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money. But And his contract job gives him a certain amount of money a month to go towards housing or lodging, is what I should say. Um, but anyway, he sent me, well, we were just talking over the weekend and he's going somewhere. He's moving to Midtown, um, really nice area. He sent me pictures, you know, a link of the apartment. It's a little bit smaller than the one he's in now, but same thing, Airbnb, really close to outdoor stuff. It is what it is. All right, y'all, my hair is all situated and now I'm going to put some more oil. I'm going to see my food done. I put some food in the oven for me. And now all I'm gonna do is, I can never find a hair tie. I just want one hair tie. Here we go. <clears throat> so now all I'm gonna do is pull my hair back. Like so. I'm done, baby. Scientist. What does scientist mean? Scientist is someone who experiments and tests things in the lab. That's correct, baby. A scientist is a person who works <clears throat> or studies one or more fields of science. So that's correct. So you ready for me to read you this book, The Leprechaun Trap? She said I could change it sometime. <laughs> guys um I have been home now for I got home an hour ago my laptop is trash child um, um what was I trying to say y'all saw that rain so literally the weather is just so sporadic here in Texas so it was raining like that in just a certain part of Forney <clears throat> coming out of Heath into Forney, I had to stop because I could not see in front of me. I was lost in a neighborhood. Actually, it was my best friend's old neighborhood. I couldn't see in front of me. So I had to pull over, recalculate my way back home because I was in the middle of a neighborhood that I knew how to get out of it if I um, could see. Another thing that's dangerous is that <clears throat> The roads can dip, and I am not trying to get caught flooded somewhere, and then my car, I, I know that the water can't reach my engine, but you never know. So I was like, okay, let me pull over, do my directions. I connected my phone to it, <sighs> calmed down, and got back home, y'all. That was just, yeah, it was a little crazy, so... um. Been home, I got me something to eat, a chocolate water burger. I've met my limit for eating out this week. I literally have eaten out every day this week. That means that that's it for the rest. It's just Wednesday. That's it for the rest of the weekday. Um, so just an update on the rest of the week. So this is it. It's really, really busy. Hey y'all, it's Friday. It stormed like crazy here in Dallas. Let me see what the damage, child. And the temperature has dropped again. What the hell was that noise? Change of plans over the weekend because my husband told me he's able to come. Thank God. Cancel my stuff yet again for Longview, which is not a problem. Spoke to my mom and my sister briefly, though, and her kids are very sick. So even if... Let me just check in the front, y'all. Even if... um. You know, my husband wasn't coming. We wouldn't be able to go to Longview because my sister kids are sick. They have scarlet fever. And plus, there's some, I don't know how it is where you're at. There's some crazy stomach bug going around. Um, I'm going to load up my work laptop. I already have my to-do list. I have a couple of things I need to do this morning. I already kind of straightened up. This is just little stuff. <clears throat> this is my nieces, my great nieces clothes i got her this is gonna be the snacks so when we go to longview i'm gonna just go ahead and keep this for when we eventually do go we'll probably try to go next weekend y'all not a problem because yeah we'll try to go next weekend 
I'm gonna go ahead and reschedule everything for next weekend. Or maybe not even next weekend. I'm gonna give them a couple of weeks to get better. I'm just looking here to see what we got. All right, baby, put your shoes on. Mama, did you know that I was playing NES games since I was like four? You were, baby? Yeah, uh, it was on my phone. Do you want to take. I um, remember playing those games, so that's why I'm so good at. Do you want to take. A, I understand. Do you want to take fish oil? The orange gummy fish oil? Just to keep your body okay, so then you need to take zinc, then the droplets of zinc. Which one is it? Why are you doing this? Because the key, I'll do the nasty fish oil. Okay, sorry. My stomach is giving me problems so much. So I'm, I just had a banana. This is, the, this is the first thing I've eaten all day. This is bad, and it's one o'clock. No, two thirty. Yeah, I was really busy today. I'm still busy, but just speaking to my husband because he's coming tomorrow, just getting some stuff lined up. He wanted to know if we wanted to go out to eat. I said, no, I'll cook because he's eating trash like me, girl. He, he's, he's definitely eating a lot of trash. And so, no, I'll cook. So I picked up some salmon from the store and I have a pickup order in the morning for Kroger. So I'm going to cook some salmon, some mashed potatoes, some spinach, you know, something really nice. We can have some wine and chill out. Um, but girl, we grown, we grown. So I told him I got me some cute little lingerie. He's like, I want to see it. I said, um, <laughs> I, I had like a meeting scheduled like in, in 10, 10 minutes, girl. I ain't never put something on so fast. I put, <laughs> look, and it was one of those type of things always one size fit all. It was one of those one type from china one spot one size fit hell it should have been called one size fit most as long as you ain't pushing 170 like my ass so i could put it on he was like oh yeah that's nice that's real nice i gotta go i take that off put this back on go to my meeting again i'm doing a, a training session for some new people so I got me real quick some acne medication, maximum strip. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I had this, have this at home, but I can't find it. I'm gonna up my skin regimen, you guys. I just started back doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but then I'm gonna put in an order for the good molecules. Um next month i already got stuff in my in my um, bag all right y'all i'm here to pick up the baby jb he is so excited to see his daddy and i told my husband that i said the baby's excited to see you since we're not going to go see my family my sister and them so he's like you know we could still go out to eat somewhere i told my husband i'm like look i appreciate everything you do the fact that you even down there in houston because he he really ain't you know he's not feeling houston <clears throat> he never really did but anyway my point being is that i'm like you don't have to do anything i appreciate you just going to another city just to pay for this child's school up front you know um i want you to relax let me tell my husband you know when he was texting me earlier <coughs> excuse me i'm like i just want you to relax and he's like no we can go out to eat at least let's just go to breakfast and then you can cook dinner later on i'm like okay cool bet i got you so that's what we're gonna do, child. But girl, work. I gotta go back home. Typically on a Friday, some stuff came in late. Christine said she ain't working. <laughs> it's okay. Christine is like, <coughs> I'm not working anymore for the day. I think she stopped working at noon, which is okay. I cover her. Look, she covers me, I cover her. So she stopped working a couple of hours ago. She got some stuff going on, which I, I don't mind covering for her because she covers for me a lot, y'all. Uh, so, but anyway, y'all, Um, my point being is that I still got some stuff to do when I get home. I'll change my to-go order when I get home. Y'all, I'm just chatting away. Let me stop this video, girl.
Hey, you guys, <clears throat> we are on our way to Mesquite to go to Goodwill, and I'm gonna tell y'all what's been happening here. Child, y'all have to excuse my skin. My skin has been breaking out, and I've been doing a turmeric and honey on my skin, trying to help, even my pores are out of control. Um, it's cold here in Texas, child. Turn it down some, baby. <clears throat> you don't have to turn it all the way. You can turn it up some more. Are you okay with it down all the way? There you go. So anyway, y'all. Um, I have 30 Star Queen. You do? Yay. It's Friday, y'all. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing. So let me tell y'all what happened. So this is now our second week second week here oh no 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 girl two and a half weeks almost since my husband has been in Houston right and so this is spring break for JB and so I had a bunch of things planned um, everything from going out to eat to um, going to the Goodwill like we're doing now and we were going to go also go to we're going to go to Longview Child, I'm going the wrong way I can still go this way. Anyway, and also going to Longview, right? That's going to be tomorrow. So while we're out to eat in Heath, and Heath is just a little town, it's just like 10 minutes away from 40. While JB and I are out to eat, y'all have to excuse the camera, it's a little shaky. While we're out to eat, I get a notification from my neighbor's boyfriend. And he also is the one that's been... Uh, mowing our lawn for us right so I'm thinking okay maybe he's coming over to mow the lawn and so I didn't answer but he's still adamant he's still you know ringing our doorbell and finally I um connect with him on my phone because that's what you could do with a ring cam so I'm like Jeremy we're not home we're we're, we're not there and so he's kind of like slurring his words he's like open up the door open up the door what's going on i'm like we're not there baby uh ain't nobody there we're out to eat so i couldn't i could barely hear him so i step outside the restaurant and i talk to him i'm like we're not there while i'm talking to him my husband calls me he's like hey girl he's cursing he's like what the f is going on up there he got blood all over him i'm like what now, I wasn't really paying attention to his face because I'm just trying to, you know, talk to him in the way that he was kind of in a shadow. And so, sure enough, I look down and his face has blood on it. Half his face has blood, you know, like a long streak of blood. And I'm like, ooh. So, I just hang up. Girl, he called four more times like four additional times at that point my husband calls me again this time my husband facetimes me he's like where are you at i'm like we're out to eat in heat we're not even home i'm trying to tell him that we're not home so what i do is i go ahead i'm assuming that he's hurt and he needs help so i call my neighbor who's his girlfriend i call her she doesn't answer i see her text message i'm like hey Jeremy keeps coming over to our house and my husband's telling me he's all bloody and he appears to be drunk. This happens, I don't hear anything from her and I'm like, oh. So the baby's a little nervous, Jabe's a little nervous. So I contact my, my best friend who lives in the same neighborhood. I'm like, hey, I don't know what's going on with my neighbor. He keeps coming over to my house, drunk, struggling. And I don't feel safe to go home right now. Can we go over there for a minute? She's like, sure, come on. She said, well, we, you know, I'm in Mesquite right now. I'll be there in 20 minutes. So JV and I go ahead and finish up eating and we go to her house and we wait for her to come home, right? She's like, girl, what the hell's going on? So I showed her the video. She's like, she said he is either drunk or he's on some type of substance. Something's not right. So we stayed over there until it was dark, okay? It was dark, so his little ass don't pop out. Yeah, this man is little, but I don't care if you are little, because sometimes when people have, if they're under the influence, that adrenaline, they can do whatever the hell. So I get home, 
I don't play. We have we we have weapons. We're safe with it. We typically keep our, we have a nine um, millimeter. We, stick, we typically keep it up on a shelf to where even I have to get a step, my step stool to get it down. But this time I even told JB, I explained to him, I'm like, look, we have a weapon, we have a gun. We always keep it on safety. Point being, I slept with my gun next to me. And I've been sleeping with it next to me for the past two nights until we can go to Longview tomorrow. Girl, I say all this to say, while I'm there, the neighbor finally calls me. She's like, Vivian, what's going on? I said, uh, well, Jeremy kept coming over and she's like, oh my God. Girl, she told me this long drawn out story about how she's been trying to get him out of their house. I'm like, what? She said, yeah, I'm trying to break up with him. And see, he started back drinking and possibly popping pills. And she's like, Vivian, that blood is from him cutting himself. He self-mutilates. I said, you know what? This is inappropriate. I let her know. She apologized all that. And these people are not, not young. She's in her 50s. He's in his late 40s. But it don't matter. People going to be ignorant regardless. So I let her know. He's scaring my baby. Hell, he's scaring me. He better be glad my husband is not here to really take care of him. But I'm going to need for him not to do that again. She's like, well, I said, why don't you call the cops? Oh, I don't want to call the cops. Also, I said, oh, I will. Yeah. If he comes over again unannounced and he won't leave after I ask him to leave, I will call the cops. It's your girl. <laughs> <laughs> 